Hello everyone. Uh, today we will be looking at table view controllers. Table view controllers are the controller which are used the most in different ways, different format. No matter which application they have table views somewhere or other implemented inside it. Uh, so let's look at table view controllers. One of the most important one. Uh, let me just go ahead and start a new project, window based application, and I will call it table application. What I'm going to do right now is uh, I am going to, since it's a window based application, I'll make a new view controller as a new file and uh, I go to UI view controller. And if you drop down this, you get something called a UI table view controller. And next, and call it table view controller. Apple, uh, Apple knows the extensive use of table view controllers, and that's why they made a UI table view controller for you so it automatically does everything for you a bunch of different things it does for you so if you see uh, go ahead and look at the application it has some extra functions inside there is table view data source functions which are like delegates but they provide data to the table so here if you see number of sections in table view you can see how many sections are there in a table view a table can have more than one section if you give by default it's one uh, if, if you don't write the function it will take only one uh, but if you don't remove this you'll never see any table show up so I'll just remove it since I'm gonna use only one uh, one section and number of rows number of rows let's say I want 10 rows so I'll say 10 and this cell forward index path is the place where it actually defines the cell that it draws for each row so let me go ahead here and we look what this is in a little while but let me go here and I s and let me say cell dot text label dot text equal to let me create a string and it's string string with format say I want to get say this row is percentage t because I'm gonna get this index path which gives me the section number and the row number dot if you see it gives me row and section number so I'll say give me the row number since we have only one section it will always say zero uh, now the number of row starts from 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so let me say plus one so I can see 1 to 10 so once I do that let's fix this quickly string okay uh, so we have the table view controller but let me I have not yet added to our window so I will just first import table view controller here go ahead and here create a table view controller table equal to table view controller allocate and initialize and once I have that I can say table let's say self dot window dot root view controller equal to table so once I have it save it and run it let's see if we get this working so it opens the window adds the table view to it and there we go our 10 element table is there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 9 10 so this is how you create table view controllers normally you will be working with table view controllers um, with navigation uh, with navigation bar on the top so what we'll do is you'll go ahead and say so UI navigation controller navig equal to navigation controller allocate and in it with root view controller table so instead of giving it to the window we will give it to the root view controller and we will give the window the navigation controller so now the navigation control shows up and table view is the root view controller of it let's give a title to the table call it table so what this will do is it will add this table title to the navigation controller and once we have that uh, everything perfect and let's run it okay there we go we have all our rows now we will see that nothing happens when you click on any of these because we have not given the next view for that 
that happens inside table view controller dot m let's look at the functions now uh, some functions that are new so there is this function number of rows in section you know what that is now because we already did that and cell forward index bar this creates cells for a table view now if you see here first it creates identifier to identify a cell and ui table view cell is actually the cell that is created the class for a cell and it says dq reusable cell what does this mean it queues the cells for something what is that let's see if the cell is nil if there is no cell available from the queue it says create a new cell and it has some initialization function you can look at that in more detail uh, so what it's trying to do here is if suppose I, ha I have just 10 rows right now suppose I have a million rows it's not memory uh, it's not good for the memory that you load all the million rows at once so what it does is it loads only the cells which are visible on the iPhone and as in when you scroll up it will release the upper cell and bring it queue it up for the bottom one for the next one to show up so whoever shows up next it will it will it will give that cell it will reuse the cell and use it for the next cell so that's why this code is here saying that um, either create new cells or just use the cells that we have created before and not in uh, not in view right now so that's what happens here and the next important function is right at the bottom did select product index path that is when you click on it what should happen so they already have some logic here let me uncomment it it's creating a detail view controller it wants a detail view controller for that so let me say new file UI view controller and not a table this time I want a view controller that's us say detail view it doesn't have to be detail view controller it can be anything it says that so I will first I will import the detail view dot h file and say detail view detail view it doesn't have a nib so I'll just choose initialize and uh, self dot navigation and there we go it should be ready so uh, a table view shows up and when you click on it a detail view comes up and as per the navigations it has table and it, this one doesn't have title because detail view doesn't have any title let's see if this file actually opens up so we'll put a title here saying self dot title equal to detail there you go the detail shows up so this is the detail view controller uh, detail view or detail view controller which actually shows up here so that's that's how table views work and there are a bunch of different functions you can just go to table view controller and look at them but this is pretty much basic of how to add table view controllers we will be doing custom table view cells a little later but uh, that's it for table view controllers thank you